In 1954, a prison doctor isolated seven black inmates and fed them double, triple and quadruple doses of LSD for 77 days straight. No one knows what became of the victims. They may have died without knowing they were part of the CIA's highly secretive program to develop ways to control minds. A program based out of a little-known army base with a dark past. Fort Detrick. If you are curious to know about this secret experiment, then hit that subscribe button and dive with me into this video. Detrick is today one of the world's cutting-edge laboratories for research into toxins and antitoxins, the place where defenses are developed against every plague, from crop fungus to Ebola. Its leading role in the field is widely recognized. For decades, though much of what went on at the base was a closely held secret. On April 10, 1953, Alan Dules, who had recently been appointed as the director of the CIA, gave a speech to a gathering of Princeton alumni during a time when global tensions were high. The New York Times had published a startling story asserting that American prisoners of war returning from the country may have been so brainwashed that they had refused to return to the United States at all. Fear of brainwashing and a new breed of brain warfare terrified the public. And so, three days after speech decrying Soviet tactics, Allen approved the beginning of MKUltra, a top-secret CIA program for covert use of biological and chemical materials. MKUltra's mind control experiments generally catered around behavior modification via electroshock therapy hypnosis, polygraphs, radiation, and a variety of drugs, toxins, and chemicals. The CIA considered prisoners especially good subjects as they were willing to give consent in exchange for extra recreation time or commuted sentences, but there were also some who had absolutely no idea they were involved in a sweeping defense research program. Ellen hired a chemist, Sidney Gottlieb, to design and oversee a systematic search for the key to mind control. Sydney created a hidden CIA enclave inside Camp Detrick. Sydney searched relentlessly for a way to blast away human minds so new ones could be implanted in their place. He tested an astonishing variety of drug combinations, often in conjunction with other torments like electroshock or sensory deprivation. In one of these experiments, seven prisoners in Lexington were given multiple doses of LSD for 77 days straight. In another captured North Koreans were given depressant drugs, then dosed with potent stimulants and exposed to intense heat and electroshock while they were in the weakened state of transition. These experiments destroyed many minds and caused an unknown number of deaths. A decade of intense experiments taught Sydney that there are indeed ways to destroy a human mind. He never, however, found a way to implant a new mind in the resulting void. The CIA's experiments with LSD persisted until 1963 before coming to a fairly anticlimactic end. In 1977, Senator Edward Kennedy oversaw congressional hearings investigating the effects of MKUltra. CIA employees involved in MKUltra claimed to have difficulty remembering details about many of the projects, including the number of people involved. While reviewing records would be the logical step Directors of the CIA mind control program MKUltra destroyed most of their records in 1973. The fact that MKUltra was designed to operate in secrecy from the very beginning meant that it was able to effectively conceal many of its activities, making it difficult for those seeking answers to uncover the truth about the program. But who knows, maybe they were successful in developing mind control technology. Let us know in the comments that what do you think about this. If you want to see more such videos, then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.